Kind of fun to watch, isn't it? I love defenses when they come out and they just establish the line of scrimmage and beat the offense up. That's what we've seen so far, and I think it's going to continue. Gore is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Rubens able to read that play and make the hit. The Seahawks defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line and they tackle the runner for a loss. The Colts approach the line and they're going with their jumbo package. Complete to Allen. The Colts have been involved in a tightly contested game to this point. And on offense, it's the passing game that's been good. Hasselbacks looked in control of the offense to this point. Hard to believe this game is tied when you watch the offense and the quarterback. They are hot. They're throwing the football. They're making it work. And we'll see if they can get ahead with another drive. And it's spotted away. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. The Colts have it at the 34. Hassel back. All is out. This one's going back the other way. That brings the play to an end. The Seahawks offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Look, I mean, just look at it. they got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence and talent, and you put those scenes together. That makes you good. It makes you dangerous, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. Lynch lined up as the single back. First down at the 31. Toss play. Mathis in on the tackle. Mathis is so strong. He can do everything on the field. He can rush the pass or beat up tackles, tight ends. How about defending this outside run that time? Stuffs it for no gain. The Seahawks step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. Comes away with it. Incredible catch there by the receiver as he goes vertical and comes down with the football and the catch. We see these incredible catches every single week. Right now, the most talented guys in the NFL might be the wide receivers. They can just do everything. Run, jump, run routes, and make these incredible catches. Keeps his legs moving. Gains 17. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. Coming to the line at the 32. Lynch is in the backfield. First down at the 32. Here's the quick toss. Keeps his legs moving. Lynch is tackled down at the 29. Second down following the run. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Two-minute warning. Snap it now with the seven yard line. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. The run it off the toss. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration and they tackled the runner for a loss. Loss of three on the play. Second and goal from the 10. Jimmy Graham with the grab. That's his third catch of the day. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Wilson's now completed four in a row. Third and goal at the five. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. 
That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and five play. Tosses the football. Runs it across for the touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this. They have to make the call on fourth and go. He goes for it, and they get it. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Moncrief's going to test the coverage this time. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Colts are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Second and ten. And the quarterback is tackled by Bruce Irvin. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. And that's Chancellor, who almost came away with a pick. The defense did a very good job there on third and long. They got the incomplete pass, but it's the work they did on first and second down. They made it tough on the offense, so third long, Everything goes to the advantage of the defense. Looking to make a difference. He's tackled right at the 43. And a run back of about eight. The Seahawks take it from the 43. Going deep. Is it caught? Yes, the offense has the ball. Coach is going to have a hard time calling deep throws down the field when the quarterback shows the he can't even get it out there. That time he underthrows the football badly. The Seahawks come out with a split backfield. Second down and 10. And intercepted! The Colts got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. Second down. The Colts come out. Jumbo package on the field. Hilton's got it. He's in the clear. Third catch today so far. The Colts call a timeout. Their first. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Kobe 
cleaner comes up with the grab. One of the better talented tight ends in the NFL. He makes that catch just right in stride and gets a nice catch. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Should be what we call a gimme. The kick is good. And that's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back from the Emerald City for the start of the second half in Seattle after the break. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios.